Registered Phenomena Code 059 Object Class Beta Orange Hazard Types Aggression Hazard Sentient Hazard Organic Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-059 is contained in a mobile anechoic chamber in OL Site-059, Antarctica. All guard stations are equipped with tasers rated no less than 4.5 mA and standard-issue batons. No conventional weapons are allowed in OL Site-059 outside of anomalous emergency lockers. Researchers have established a 24-7 monitor on rogue flights, research expeditions, and military testing, and will move RPC-059 out of range before the incident occurs. For this purpose, RPC-059's chamber has been modified to be detached from OL Site-059 and towed away to a safe distance. A no-fly zone has been established in a 25km radius around OL Site-059 under the cover story of geological research. All transportation is done through Station. Researchers will then transfer to a and travel to OL Site-059. OL Site-059 Overview OL Site-059 For the purposes of containing RPC-059, OL Site-059 was constructed in Land, Antarctica. Due to its extremely remote location, lack of nearby transportation routes, and uninhabitable nearby areas, it was the ideal location. OL Site-059 is equipped with a number of specific structure-based equipment, rooms, and architecture to facilitate the containment of RPC-059 and use its properties beneficially. A number of panic rooms are installed around all of OL Site-059. While these will not protect from RPC-059, they are enough to protect from any conventional assault by most hostile forces. These are to be used in tandem with OL Site-059's sound system. The ceiling of the facility has been equipped with speakers, allowing site security to direct the movement of RPC-059. While this should only be used in emergency containment breaches, it can also be used to recontain RPC-059. Containment breaches in OL Site-059 are divided into three separate groups of increasing severity. Conventional If a containment breach is caused by using explosives, ammunition, or combustion-based weaponry, all researchers, staff, and security are to make their way to the nearest panic bunker and remain until RPC-059 is disposed of all intruders. No effort is to be made to stop any intruders with conventional weaponry as RPC-059 will also attack nearby personnel who have not fired any conventional weapons. Unconventional In the case that a containment breach is caused by unconventional means through the use of EMP, gas-based weaponry, high-powered directed energy weapon, or any weaponry that is not based on combustion, all non-security personnel are to retreat, and standard defense procedures will occur. If by any means RPC-059 enters its active state through fighting, security personnel are to follow conventional protocol and retreat to nearby panic bunkers. Anomalous In the instance that anomalous parties or objects cause a containment breach of OL Site-059, all security personnel are to obtain weapons from any anomalous emergency lockers and combat the anomalous threat. OL Site-059 Security is aware of RPC-059's anomalous properties. Description: RPC-059 is a Canis lupus familiaris, commonly known as the German Shepherd, standing at 85 cm tall. RPC-059 has a noticeably wider frame than average for its breed. RPC-059 was discovered with a K-9 unit harness, tagged with D-80GO County K-9 unit. Closer inspection of the pack is currently impossible, as it results in hostility. RPC-059's body has been modified via the implantation of a number of bionic implants. Most notably, its legs have been increased in length, a second heart has been added, and a layer of metal has been added just below its epidermis 
and throughout the jaw. RPC-059 was discovered after police reports of an active spree killer in Florida. In the reports, only a single shot had ever gone off in each house, resulting in casualties. The killings were found to be confusing to law enforcement, as no gunshot wounds were found. Rather, multiple lacerations throughout the victim's body, usually in the throat. The authority investigated after an agent working in law enforcement tipped them off to anomalous activity. RPC-059 was found nearby the most recent shooting. Covered in blood, RPC-059 was initially hostile until Agent approached it. RPC-059 seemed to take an immediate liking to her and was contained with no further incidents. RPC-059 alternates between an active and inactive state. Inactive, where its anomalous properties have not been triggered and remain dormant, and active, wherein it is actively pursuing any noise. While inactive, RPC-059 acts like a domesticated German Shepherd. While not being hostile, RPC-059 will show no interest outside of women aged 21 to 23. No genetic disposition or pre-programmed reason for this has been discovered. Its anomalous properties manifest within its hearing, which has been increased beyond any known organic being. When any sound is heard that would presumably damage RPC-059's hearing, its active state is triggered instead, causing RPC-059 to pursue and attempt to destroy the source of any artificially created sound at above 125 decibels and within its 25km range of hearing. This can be prevented through the use of the anechoic chamber, which stops RPC-059 from hearing most sounds. However, there exist exceptions to this line of containment. RPC-059 will always hear gunshots within a 10km range. There is seemingly no prevention method for this, as adding silencers, mufflers, and putting earplugs directly into RPC-059's ears has no effect. For this reason, no firearm may be used in OL Site-059 outside of emergencies. Any gunshot above 170 decibels in a 25km range will also be picked up by RPC-059, though due to the size of most objects that create sounds, such as tanks, artillery, and jet aircraft, it may be unable to neutralize the source of the sound. As its jaw and body are composed of metal, it is at this time impossible to contain once any of these conditions have been met, and therefore OL Site has been constructed. Addendum. On further investigation into the origin of RPC-059, its name was found in a local department's K-9 unit. Agents contacted local law enforcement for a statement. Interview RPC-059-1 Interviewed Police Chief Interviewer Agent Forward Contact was established under the guise of a local newspaper. Police Chief was given the cover story of the newspaper, doing an article on canine units in the line of duty. Began Log February 21, 2000 14.05 p.m. Have canine units had a long history in our district, Chief? I think our district adopted them in about… 1970. During the time of the war, some of our own officers went off to serve. Many of them had dogs they had to leave behind, and some of the German Shepherds. At that time, a lot of other districts were training their own dogs, so we took it on as well. And I understand you use them in combat situations as well? Chief looks around uncomfortably. Not if we can help it. A dog isn't much use against someone with a gun, but for ordinary street violence, drug searches, and public service, they are used. I see. Can you tell me a bit more about some of your canine units? Has anything happened with them recently, say within the last couple years? Well, if you're asking for specifics. A few years ago, there was a horrible tragedy of some gang violence. It started out with a noise disturbance, so we sent the nearest unit over. A canine unit? Yes. According to eyewitnesses, 
the van drove up onto the curb outside the house and was immediately opened fired on. Officer Murphy dove behind the van and called for backup. Dog hid with him the entire time. And what happened next? It isn't a great moment in our department's history to speak of. No other units were close. How could we know? It was just a noise complaint. So Officer Murphy is pinned down, and they just rush him. They run around the van. Dog thrashes one of their gun arms. And Officer Murphy takes a couple out, but there's too many of them, emerging like ants from a hill. Dog goes down, Murphy follows soon after. In the post-action report, a picture showed the dog was curled around Murphy like a fucking shield. We lost two great officers that day. Chief stops and holds his hands to his face, exhaling a long sigh. I'm sorry, has this upset you? It feels like it was just yesterday that I was writing up the report. Is there anything else related to this that you'd like to state on record? Yeah, there is. I'd like to say how strong Officer Murphy's daughter is, burying both him and the dog alone. It's not something any person could do. There wasn't a police funeral? No, she said, quote, Let me do it. I'll give them the proper send-off, unquote. The whole department wanted to come to the funeral, but we had to respect her wishes. It's her father, after all. I think that's all we needed to know. Thank you for your time. No problem. If you go interview Murphy's daughter next, tell her I'd like to know where her father's grave is. Pay my respects. End log. February 21, 2000, 14.23 PM Closing Statement As of today, no evidence has been found of Officer Murphy ever having a daughter. Though many officers stated they had seen her often times with Officer Murphy, no official birth certificates, paperwork, or photographs exist. <laughs>